If you've been on the internet long enough, you'll know that every once in a while when you decide to log on to your computer and type in a website, sometimes it'll only show the text of that website, basically just the bare bones of the page. All you have to do to fix this problem and have it working optimally again is just refresh the page. This is a good analogy as to what happens to your brain when you decide to not refresh it every once in a while. And there's a certain practice that I'm gonna go over in this video that will allow you to refresh your brain every single week. How's How's everybody doing today? My name is Cole Hastings. If you are new to my channel, it's all about fitness and self-help, so consider subscribing. Today's video is going to be part one of a three-part series on creativity and enhancing your creative power as I get ready to release my first ever full-length self-help book that is coming out in one month, which is the middle way, how to strategically use laziness to enhance your creative power. So I'm going to use these three videos to build a little bit of hype around it and because I think they're good topics to explore through video format as well not just within the book. Now let me ask you something. Does the idea of doing something out of the ordinary scare you? What if your friend asked you over the phone, they just called you up and they said, hey, I want to fly across the country tomorrow. Let's do it. What would you say to that? Would you have to take a long time to think about it? Or would the idea excite you? If you're like most people, the thought of pulling yourself out of your usual environment and doing something spontaneous, that extra brain effort that it requires to do that, seems like a daunting and unnecessary task, especially especially for the return on investment. I mean, after all, if the spontaneous thing is just going out to the park or maybe hanging out with friends, how could that possibly be better than sitting in your house and getting more work done? But the truth of this reality is that breaking out of your routine every once in a while to experience a different and unusual environment can have a profound impact on your energy levels, your well-being, and your creativity. Well, today my dad asked me if I wanted to drive to Guitar Center with him, maybe do some golfing, and go eat. So this is a perfect time to practice the title of this video and also get some cool b-roll shots. The problem with the human condition with which we live in today is that our entire lives are based around routine. We get up, we go to work, we eat, we sleep, and we do it over and over again. And I'm not trying to say routine is bad because it's definitely one of the best ways to consistently be more productive because it primes your mind once you get into the momentum of having a solid routine set up, then it creates like no friction between you and your work. You can get into a high level working mindset with almost no effort if you establish a good routine. But what I am saying is that every so often you need to refresh your brain by doing something unusual, by getting yourself out of your usual environment. And how do you do this? You do this by being spontaneous every week. Many of the things with which the modern human occupies themselves with on a day-to-day -day basis now are not very natural things. Around 200,000 years ago, the Homo sapien, the species that we are, emerged on Earth. And for the majority of the time that us humans have been around, we've had to constantly move around, be on our feet, and travel to ever new places. Places. Today, we sit comfortably in the same home every single day, and I stress sitting because this is something that is really raining terror on our health, and I definitely do it too much. And sometimes, maybe rarely, we will finally push ourselves to, you know, step outside, maybe have that night out for drinks or get into nature, maybe do a hike. In order to get back to our more natural state of living, I believe that you have to at least weekly constantly explore new environments and give your brain a bit of a challenge which is forcing yourself to be in a place that it's not familiar with. And this actually doesn't apply to just places and going out. It means doing anything differently, spontaneously, without thinking. This means you're forcing your brain to have to adapt and change to its new environment. And I think that you should be in accordance with the entire universe as well, not just how humans have uh, functioned for the last 200,000 years with the whole universe, really. And when we inspect the universe for what it really is, what it really is is just something that is spontaneously making things happen with every moment that passes by. I don't think the universe is really thinking about what it's doing when it's constantly expanding and evolving at an ever-increasing rate, and honestly, that's how you need to be sometimes too if you want to expand and evolve. You are also tapping into your unconscious, free-flowing mind more when you decide to practice spontaneity regularly, which is why it makes you a more creative person. Something I've realized through interesting 
introspection of myself is that my highest creative states have come when I wasn't really thinking about what I was doing and I kind of just let my mind take over. And while I was doing research for this video, I actually came across an article on Psychology Today, which was titled The Wisdom of Spontaneity. And there was a certain part that really stood out to me and it was like, I've had that exact same thought before, but just with different wording. And here's what it says. It says, it might be said that all great works of art originate from their creator's ability to trust their inspiration, allowing themselves to get lost in the flow of their craft, there's nothing mannered about their creation. It's free of contrivance, immediate living dynamic. Because of its essential spontaneity, which goes beyond space and time, as well as the inevitable limitations of the conscious human mind, it captures something vital and enduring about the human condition. These spontaneous unconscious thoughts are where all creative ideas pretty much arise from. Which I think goes to show that, at least in some aspects, our unconscious mind is highly more intelligent than our conscious mind. Actually, there was one more thing in this article, a quote from a Swiss philosopher that I've never heard of named Henry Frederick Emil, and he said, analysis kills spontaneity. And yeah, that is basically everything that I've just said in the past like minute or so summed up. I also find that being spontaneous helps me solve any sort of problem that I'm stuck on for a long time. Like if I'm sitting on a problem and I'm actively trying to think out the solution to that problem, I'm just sitting at my computer thinking, how can I solve this? I find that that does not work nearly as well as just getting out of the routine of trying to think about it and doing something spontaneous, whether that's going outside and doing something with friends or just sitting down and doing something different with my time within my house. I find that when I step away from the work, the solution comes to me naturally. All because I didn't actively try to solve the problem and I let my brain just take over and do its thing. And this is something that I explain a lot more in detail in my self-help book. If you think about it, being more spontaneous also makes you a more flexible and less stressed person as well. Let's say you decide to try something new today and you finally sign up for that yoga class that you've been meaning to sign up for. Now, why am I using a yoga class as an example? It's because most of the people subscribed to this channel are probably vegan and I'm stereotyping all of us. Sorry. When you go and spontaneously do this activity without hesitation, there's going to have thoughts that arise like, oh, what if I'm not flexible enough than everyone else that's in the room? What if the people in there are going to judge me because I can't do some certain movements? You're going to have all of these self-deprecating thoughts, etc, etc. But by constantly forcing yourself into these unknown situations over and over, you're basically training your brain to become less reactive to these situations. And eventually over time, when you do spontaneous stuff all the time, that's scary, that is, that is something unknown, your brain is basically going to be like, okay, we've seen spontaneous unknown things before. We can choose not to react to this as highly or as emotionally as we usually do. Because let's face it, life is always going to throw us, no matter what type of life you have, it's always going to throw us uncomfortable and painful situations and circumstances. And because this is inevitable, no matter what stage of life we're in right now, it means that the situation doesn't matter nearly as much as how you react to it. And when you become more attuned to negative spontaneous situations by constantly thrusting yourself in spontaneous situations, you become much better suited to deal with them and control your emotional reactions to them. Due to this, you develop a much stronger frame and you don't let the minute inconveniences that happen to all of us push you off of your path towards fulfillment and happiness. As I've explained throughout the video, spontaneity can come in many different forms. It can be just you drawing or writing anything that comes to mind without hesitation or thinking about it. It could be going to some abandoned train tracks with yourself or with your friends, or it could just be you finally accepting a random social event invite. Whatever you end up doing for this spontaneous task, just make sure that you're doing something like this every single week to keep your brain active, clean, and refreshed. You must really like self-help if you're at the end of this video, so I do want to mention that I have a self-help newsletter and on this newsletter I've actually been releasing chapter snippets from the book The Middle Way that I explained earlier every single week and I'm going to be doing this for the next few weeks before the release of the book and after that I'll just be releasing self-help newsletters every so often. So if you want to sign up for that,
that, you also get a free recipe ebook and a free example week of bodybuilding meals because you guys know I'm into fitness as well. Then you can sign up using the link in my description. I would really appreciate it and you're going to get a lot of value out of that newsletter and it's obviously completely free. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like on it for me. It helps push this out to more people and it will help more people be more spontaneous, which would be cool. Let's get more humans to do that. And that is it. Thank you for watching till the end as always. Have a good rest of your day and I'm going to go be a cool guy. What's dude? Like what?